here in Escondido and um, I've got my little mobile node here. I've got it set up in uh, client mute. Uh, this is the alien mothership node that you see me rolling around with sometimes. I usually keep this on my nightstand in my house so that I don't have to like take my unit out of my car. So as you can see over here, I've got a, a permanent mount antenna uh, on the external of my car. And you can see I sent a message here. However, it keeps hitting max transmission reached, right? So I just want to show you the difference in what happens. So if I take this little antenna off, and then I'm just going to take the antenna off of my... Uh, alien node for a moment and I'm going to attach it to this there we go everybody's freaking out you're gonna burn your finals no there's protection in these devices for that anyways so now that I've got another antenna on it I just try to retransmit the signal and see how it gets acknowledged immediately like it's not this unit. This unit is not acknowledging it because this is in client mute. This unit is now just uh, attached to an external antenna. Um, radio check. Let's do the ham radio. Do you copy? So I'll go ahead and uh, I'll do radio check. Do you copy? And this should also get acknowledged. There we go. Acknowledged, right? So... We'll, I mean, if anyone's listening, we'll get a response with no problem, right? But if you can see here, all I'm going to do... Oh, boy, that got on there tight. There. Oh, geez. The Lily Go antenna wasn't, uh, wasn't exactly... The nut on it isn't exactly screwed in the best way, and it's a little loose. Here, let me tighten that up. And then... Uh, I'll go ahead and, and put their little factory uh, mini PP antenna on it. That's the only difference, right? And then I'll go ahead and uh, I'll just do the same message. Here we go. Radio check, do you copy? Waiting to be acknowledged. Do do do, do do do, do do. And there's the Discord going off. Waiting to be acknowledged. My ring app going off. And uh, it says max transmission reached. So with this factory antenna that comes with LilyGo, you see how bad that is? I mean, that's just terrible. I mean, I'm out here, and, and I know there's a lot of repeaters around here and stuff. It just can't. This little antenna that comes with the LilyGo does not work well. Um, here, I'll even try again. Look, we'll just say try again. Doo -doo -doo. Ah, it takes so long. It's like watching grass grow. It's so nice to be able to do this as an example and just switch the antennas whenever I want to. Um, yeah, max transmission reached. Now watch. I'll go ahead just just for the fun of it, you know, and switch it back. There, that way we'll get multiple times to prove it. There, acknowledged. See how easy that was? That's an alpha antenna there, the one I'm always bragging about, the Alpha 915. I love the thing, and it's 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 made with that wedge so it doesn't vibrate in the wind when you're driving and everything. It's just so good. It's I mean, I get acknowledged everywhere I go. So, uh, with that said, um, there's my demonstration of the difference between the stock mini PP antenna and the alpha antenna look at that size does matter but in this case the alpha internally doesn't have much more than this it's just tuned better 
Uh, you know, one of the guys that I don't like on on YouTube has done an X-ray of that alpha antenna, and it shows the inside. There's really not much in there, but it looks cool, doesn't it? A lot of plastic, but uh, it works really well. It's tuned really well. These things, I believe, are just some random antenna that Lily Go sticks on them because they are like VSR, you know, VS. Uh, oh my God, why am I? Not, uh, my VNA shows the SWR on these things at like 2.8 and stuff and sometimes worse. Sometimes I've seen one 3 and 4 way up high. Terrible. So the Alpha, I stand by it. Someone asked earlier in Discord, do you like the Alpha? Yes, I do. And that's why.